97.3, your hottest digital station. Now, now, now in digital HD sound. How you guys doing? Grand afternoon, and, and you to you and you out there in uh, Radio Land. And how you guys doing? It's the one and only DJ Malone, Chicago 77.3, the best place to be at on any day. Really, how you guys doing? People, I got greatness into the building. And so when I, when, when I tell you, I like people who give out good vibes, good energy, and everything. I like this person, man, this next individual. Go introduce yourself real quick. Hello, my name is Absent, but I'm present today, and uh, I'm here, and I'm here to answer any questions you might have. I like that. I like <laughs> I like how it's so it's so subliminal. So let's let's start out right there. How did that name even come about? That's funny. We were just talking about that. Um, well, it's something really coming from. Uh, it really stems from family. Uh, one of the avenues. Okay. Um, see, I'm a middle child, okay. so I think you already kind of yeah. get the vibe with yeah. that. Uh, what that means yeah. So um, I have three brothers I'm the only girl Okay So um, So it's kind of double In the in Yeah sense. so I only have one older brother And uh, the rest of them They're smaller So okay. um, My other brother got Locked up At mm. a young age um, Struggling parents Bro. Uh So it was a lot Got a lot going on Essentially And uh, I kind of had to have That weight on my back Bro. So I kind of wasn't seen At most times mm, So I get that um, with all that being said, like musically, like where did you find music? I'd like to say, uh, music has always been a passion for mine. Uh, my father rapped for a long time. Uh, he had a whole studio in the house. Right. So <laughs> I, I've always grown accustomed to music and, you know, cleaning up on Sundays yeah, and okay. waking up hearing church music. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. You know, I've always been in love with music. It's always been something that I've always gravitated towards. And <laughs> hey. I remember, uh, like, when I when I like when Christmas came around and like I just asked for like a a, a radio okay. a microphone okay and sometimes I would go up in there with my parents and I would perform for them yeah <laughs> so that's what's up. music has always been been something that's near and dear to me so has it been no, like therapeutic for you in a sense absolutely absolutely it's music has took me out of some of the darkest places I could have ever been and, wow you know that's all I had in one moment and that's what I still have so yeah. Yeah. Inspirational wise, man, who are you listening to? Uh, inspirational wise, like, like who are we talking about, like old or new? It could, it could be anybody that you feel that that, that really made you feel something. Uh, somebody who really resonates with me, I would say, um, I would say probably uh, Anderson Pack. Okay, Anderson Pack is is definitely a big influence of mine. That's what's because he's a. Uh, He's kind of the ap- opposite of what I am musically, but mm. he brings a lot of ideas to the table that, you know, that I agree with. Or he says something in a certain type of way that'll resonate, you know, resonate with me, you know. So I, I really appreciate his work. And uh, another good one of mine would be Isaiah Rashad. Okay. Isaiah okay. Rashad is a good one. Um, just because, like, that heartfelt, deep, yeah, like uh, the gritty like tone music. he has. Yeah. It's just yeah, it, it takes me there. That's so, amazing. Yeah. Um, as for you, describe your sound. Uh, you know what? I this is a question that I get. I I actually ask a lot of people because um, I really don't know my sound. Mm. I really don't know what the what it is, but I, I, I it's intentional. Okay, that's the thing about it. Um, I mean, honestly. It is heartfelt. All of my music is heartfelt. All of my music can get dark. Okay. Because I'm a very vulnerable person when it comes to my music. Okay. okay. Um, so I definitely try to keep it. I try to keep it not. I wouldn't say I'm I'm the littest person, so it's not going to be something you could turn up to. Yeah. But something you can sit in the car, ride around to, think about. Yeah. Worry too, you know, yeah, and it, it's just something you could feel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I respect that, man. Um, it's, that's the only word I could really just put to it. I can't put like a genre. But you know what, though? In this day of age, it's a beautiful thing right now because genres, like, there's so many artists that are not like that fit the genre. You get what I'm saying? Like, so, like, somebody like the internet, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, they don't fit a certain type of sound. You get what I'm right. saying? So I guess if I was to like put it under a label or a genre, 
I would say neo soul hip hop, okay. neo soul rap. Okay. Uh, I like kind of that. that era. I like that. Yeah. Um, let me ask you this. What what single are you pushing right now? Uh, a single I'm pushing right now. I'm actually working on a project right now. Okay. Uh, it's called Damaged Goods. Um, okay. It's coming soon to all your platforms. So that'll be on the lookout pretty soon here. Okay. That's dope, man. We're here at the track meet, uh, uh, track meet uh, 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 summit, man. So how have you been, like, how's this whole experience been for you? This whole experience has been overwhelming with a lot of information, but not in a bad way. Um, I got to meet a lot of uh, great people, a lot of people that are out here putting work in and, you know, really trying to get it out to us as far as what we need to know as being artists, businessmen, yeah. art- entrepreneurs, so on and so forth. So I just, I appreciate it. I appreciate being able to meet these different people and to give me those different perspectives that I can, you know, take from myself and, That's you know, dope. go on with my career. With. So I, I definitely... Definitely appreciate this whole event. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Um, we appreciate you even coming out. Uh, what do you feel about the music scene right now? How do you feel about the, the music scene? Uh, I definitely feel like it's, uh, it's oversaturated. Mm. Um, I definitely feel like it's no feeling. I feel like everybody just wants to party. Everybody want to turn up. And uh, what I really see now is like the artists that do bring that emotion or, you know, do bring that vulnerability to their work are getting more recognition, like right. the Rod Waves or the, um, who else I could say, uh, J. Coles mm. and, you know, things like that, people that can actually be descriptive with their words and with right. their emotions and how they're feeling and what they're thinking. Those are the ones that are going to be in it for the long run. That's real. You know? I respect that, man. I think, I think too, is, is what what's dope about you is, is that, um, you use your vulnerability to to express how you feel, um, and 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 you write it down and you tell the story and everything. What has been one of the hardest songs for you to make? Uh, one of the hardest songs that I had to make, um, I would definitely say I have a song in my catalog right now that's called "Stranded," and uh, it was a real hard record to make because it's a lot of things that. I usually don't tell people, even my closest friends, my closest family members. And it's a lot of stuff that I put on paper that I damn near drop tears mm. writing it down. So it's definitely one of my hardest records that I've had to write okay. as far as like actually putting it on paper and actually putting it on wax. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. Okay. That's what's up. Uh, I, where do you hope to perform, man? Where, if you could perform anywhere, where would it be at and why? Oh, uh, if I could perform anywhere, it would probably be on NPR, Tiny okay. Desk, just because it's a more intimate setting. Yeah. And, you know, you can really get across to people that way. And then just the performances that I've seen so far are just phenomenal. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like, I, I don't know if you've seen the one that just uh, passed recently uh, with Juvenile. No, I didn't see that one. Uh, Juvenile and... uh. <sighs> That was a good one. I'm not gonna lie. The Scarface was a really good one. Scarface too. was a great one. That 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 to me, it could have really made like you know I know what he said in the songs, but the way that it just came out. Yeah, and then you you know back then it was a little bit more gritty. It was a little bit more in your face. Yeah. So to have them tone that down, but still get the message across, still yeah. is great. And then the. Bands, whoever whoever's in charge of that, yeah. they got it on lock as far as like the live engineering yeah, and man. stuff. So I I really appreciate the whole setup That's and fun. you know what they bring to the table. So what has been the one of the most uh, important things you learn in your journey of music? Uh, most important thing would probably be. Uh, is to go through all the emotions. Mm. And I, I know I'm probably quoting Nipsey on that, but. This industry will take you up yeah. and down, yeah. around, and everything. And it's, it's up to you to go through those motions. It's up to you to be able to control yourself and be able to still put 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 out what you need to put out. Talk to the people you need to talk to. Shake hands with who you need to shake hands with. Yeah. No matter what you're feeling. So that's real. Yeah, I like that, man. Um, how do you feel like if, if you could give advice to another person, um, to an artist or a, a producer, or whoever? How do you feel um, that you could contribute the advice? Well, what advice would you get to them? To another artist or producer yeah. that's out there, keep going. And don't listen to what other people say that's not realistic, because mm. it is. 
Yeah. I've I've watched a lot of people, uh, a lot of close friends that I know that are probably bigger than I am. Just mm. speaking humbly, there, um, you know, just to keep going and you know, if I could quote it, <laughs> I hate that I have to quote people, but if they don't know your dreams, they won't shoot them down. Mm. So I like that. Yeah. I like that, man. That's a bar right there. Now nah, that's J Cole. That's J Cole. Hey, yeah. I, 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 what song is that from? Uh, it was on. It's that it's that one with the uh, Erica Badu sample in it. I need y'all. Yeah. yeah, I need yeah. to I'm, listen I'm to that. I'm gonna definitely man. have to give you that. that. Yeah, that, that yeah, that's a bar yeah. right there. Okay, where where are you from originally? I'm from Houston, Texas. Originally born and raised. Well, uh, north side, south side, where, where north from? side, south side, east side, west side. I've been everywhere. Oh, I've been everywhere around Texas. So. Okay, hey, that's what's yeah. up. Um, do you do you aspire to you know? I guess. Uh, do other shows outside of Texas, or would would you? Feel? Absolutely, absolutely. I would love to do another show. You know, if if they would have me. So definitely. Any uh, any upcoming things coming your way? Um, to be honest, not right now. I mean, I'm just really trying to get my project done and yeah. trying to get it out to the people and who I need to get out to. You know, do the necessary things to push that. You know. Okay. So you I guys know. will be hearing from me soon. Definitely. When they, whenever <laughs> you do. Coming back on on Chicago seven seven three, man. We de- will. We're definitely <laughs> playing, man. Uh, where can the people find you? MySpace, everything. Uh, you guys can find me on Instagram. Uh, should be uh, chaotic. Uh, should be the username uh, K underscore O T I C K. Okay. Yeah. Well, what are two things you're grateful for? Uh, two things I'm grateful for is to still be breathing right now, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, another thing I'm grateful for is obviously music. I mean, mm. that's that's why we're here, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, well, where would you be at if we didn't have music? Uh, if I wouldn't, I'd probably be an accountant somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Some in somebody's school or something. You were, know? Were, you, were you like? Were you? Good at school, like like did you like it? Uh, I mean, school was the only place that I could get away, mm. other than music, you know, from home and from what the struggles that my parents were going through at the time. So, you know, I kind of I wouldn't say I'm just a bookworm like that, but I definitely, you know, I definitely excelled in that good, area. Good. As far as. I, I, I like when people are smart. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, hey, yeah. Okay. Well, I do appreciate this, man. Go ahead and tell the tell the people the, your name one more time because I like how you said it. My name is Absent, but I'm present here with you guys today. Thank you for having me, by the way. That's a bar. Make sure you guys stay in tune. If you if you can, can you look into this camera right here? You're, and you're gonna say your name, and I'm rocking with Chicago seventy seven point three. Hey, my name is Absent, and I'm rocking with Chicago 77.3. Yiddy. Yiddy, man. <laughs> it's the one and only DJ Malone, Chicago 77.3. We out. Wow. We lit. Live.